Yeah, so what we've been doing is collecting data using our 3D laser scanner on these shipwrecks. So the laser scanner itself, it basically sets up on a tripod and it gets a 360 degree scan that makes almost like a, a 3D model effectively. And so once it makes that, we can use that in the future and make measurements without ever having to go into the field. We already have the data. These students are graduating uh, with exposure to technologies and skills that are unique for undergraduates, and I'm pretty proud of our program for its ability to do that. This, I think this is a great experience because this is field work. Oh, you know, yeah, this is right. gritty, it's dirty, it's science. Man, it makes me want to go collect some data. There you go. <laughs> so the vessels themselves, they're going to be uh, for merchant purposes and for actually harvesting oysters or just moving them up and down depending on the Nansamund River, which is behind us here. I think this gains us, you know, um, better information about not only this area in general, but the Chesapeake Bay area, uh, that we could you know, rewrite in the history books, something that we could bring into museums and gives us an overall you know, better picture. These are things that you know, we don't hear every day in history books, but it's a part of everyday life. And Which is different. A lot of times in archaeology we think, oh, we want to go find the, the warships and the British and such, but these are really telling for our, our local culture, especially here in Virginia. Well, the point cloud that we've collected is called a scan world. We have an excellent and active fieldwork program through the Institute of Archaeology here with our field school, which ultimately leads us to opportunities such as scanning this stuff behind me. I mean, it's just a really phenomenal place, the Institute of Archaeology, working with Dr. Bates and other students here, and Brendan Burke and other people. It's just a really great uh, experience and a really great opportunity. We have two current seniors, two undergraduates, and they're doing field work with, along with Professor, who's an, who's an alum, and they're doing field work with Brendan Burke, who's an alum as well. My experience with alums from Longwood is they love helping current students and exposing them to opportunities to learn. And that is just classic Longwood. And it's what we do very well.